Hello, Scorpios. This is your reading for the 14th through the 15th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. It's much appreciated. Helps to circulate the video as well. All right, guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkeryandgem.com. All right, so let's go ahead and get right on into this. Excuse me. What's going on for Scorpios today? Please show me what's going on for Scorpio. What messages do Scorpio need to hear? Ooh. Got like three cards. King of Cups. Hmm. Six of Cups. And the Sun. A lot of you are having very good memories about somebody from your past, I'm feeling. Um, I, I'm getting feeling a little mm, nostalgic. Um, this person, I feel, when you think about them, you think about the good times you guys shared. Um, you guys were happy. And what I'm getting from this is that there's something that you've become aware of with an individual. Maybe a Leo you guys are thinking of or any other fire sign here. Um, Aries, Sagittarius as well. But um, definitely I'm feeling like romanticizing um, a connection with somebody that you feel very familiar with, somebody that you may have children with or children were involved in this situation, but definitely somebody you have a history with here. Okay. I'm getting that um, you guys were in a, in a committed relationship where you had a lot of feelings or you still have a lot of feelings for this individual, but I feel like it was a shared energy. Okay. Some of you may um, be single parents caring for your children. That is what's making you happy. You know, you're, you're, you're good by yourself. Um, nevertheless, I'm, I'm thinking that you're open for a commitment if you are single and not currently thinking about anybody, but um, there's definitely happy feelings here. But I'm, I'm getting to that somebody, there's something about an individual for some of you who are thinking about somebody from the past, a past relationship connection um, that um, hmm, I feel very happy. I almost feel sad, though. It's, it's weird because I'm feeling like somebody has lost somebody here. Somebody has lost somebody here in this connection. In this reading and I'm feeling like um, there's somebody that wants to reunite they want to bring their family back together Whew. let's see please show me more about the king of cups I'm feeling overwhelmed show me more about the king of cups you guys have some strong strong intuition and energy Show me more about the King of Cups, please. Three of Wands. I'm feeling like somebody has turned their back on this situation. And what I'm getting from this is that you guys, you feel they have turned their back on this situation. Maybe they were waiting on you for a while or vice versa because the energy can go vice versa. Um, Aries is strong here. Aries Leo, I feel. And they may have Scorpio in their chart as well, but very strong energy um, here. Six of Cups, please. Please show me more about the Six of Cups. Feel I feel happy and sad at the same time because I'm feeling like, you know, things kind of went awry here in this connection. But there's um, 
there's been like an epiphany or something where one person was all in initially and the other person wasn't. Okay. And now the person that wasn't is now all in. And the person that was originally all in has turned their back. So it's like I'm feeling missed opportunity here. Six of Cups, please. The Empress. Definitely wanting to have a new beginning. Feeling like... Feeling like this is the one. And feeling like I let them get away. Strong. Taurus, Aries, Leo, energy. Seeing happiness, seeing abundance, seeing growth, seeing like the, the rest of, you know, their natural life with the other person. Envisioning this, seeing this, wanting this. I'm feeling that strongly for somebody here. Okay. Tell me more about the sun, please. Four of Wands. I always want to cry. <sighs> Somebody wants... Somebody wants to be with the other person so very strongly till I can feel it like all through my body. They see the ultimate happiness, the ultimate stability. This is the one. There's never been anybody like this person. There's a lot that the other person did not realize before. There's a lot. This is a portal though. There's there's some there's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity here. Aries energy is very strong here. They may be on the Taurus um, cusp. Um, Leo's here. Scorpio, of course. But um, this is like twin. This is this is like twin energy. I'm I'm getting here, but somebody I feel like is being um, blocked out or pushed out. Okay. At this point, but I'm getting that at one point in time, it's like the roles have been reversed here. It's the thing. Okay. What energy is coming towards Scorpio? What energy is coming towards Scorpio? I'm feeling very flustered. What energy is coming towards Scorpio? I feel you for whoever you are. I feel you. Six of Cups repeating itself. Past life connection. Strong soulmate. Twin connection. And that's not something that I really say often because there's not, I repeat, there, everybody is not a twin flame. But this is for somebody out there. I'm feeling it so very strongly here. Scorpio, Aries, energy. Very strong. Leo. Okay. Whew. Got stuck there for a second. Okay. Knight of Wands again, like I said. Now somebody else is running. They turn their back. This fire energy, they turn their back. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The connection is still there. But I'm feeling strongly somebody has, has given up. 
whoever the chaser was initially, who was trying so very strongly, probably heavily, to get back, is now the sprinter. Okay. Let's see. Why is this happening? It was too much. It was too much. And in order for this person to really gain their mental clarity, their mental health, their emotional health and well-being, they had to leave. They had to not concentrate on it. They had to focus on themselves, their harmony, their balance within their own life. But with temperance here, this is also working things out with the person, reconciling, reuniting, balancing the inner the, the emotions with the actions here. Somebody here was on board at one point, the other one wasn't. Sagittarius energy there. But what I'm getting here is both of you are on the same page now. But I don't know if the one that's currently bolting, if they know that. I don't see any swords here. I don't see any communication here. Um, I see feelings. And I see wants. I see feelings, wants, and movement. I don't see communication. Okay. One more card. The Hierophant. <sighs> Taurus energy. You guys know what you want now. You guys know exactly what you want now. This person knows what they want as well. And they know what they deserve, more importantly. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that both of you are on the same page here. Now. But I think there's a need to communicate. Okay. Communication, communication, communication. Okay, let me pull a Romance Angels card for you guys. Ooh. What other messages do Scorpios need to hear? What other messages do Scorpios need to hear? I know you want them. <laughs> I know you do. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. There's something, there's something that's going on right now, I feel, that you really need to pay attention to, okay? If, and it could be anything, if you are not following your intuition, if, you, if you're feeling like you need to communicate with this individual and you feel like maybe it's too late, your first thought was, I feel like I need to communicate with this individual. Okay. Um, I would say also to be mindful because I see feelings and action to not... Overdo it. Okay. Um, keep your emotional stability. Don't be overly emotional if and when you do contact this individual. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. I'm going to pull one more card here. The signs are cautioning you. I'm sure you guys have been seeing synchronicities because there, there is something, 
something going on here. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Speak your mind. This is what I'm getting from this. Speak your mind. Don't isolate yourself. Don't just sit up and think about um, how you feel in all the good times and, um, and, and not try to bridge the gap if you need to. Okay, but it can go vice versa. This could be this individual feeling so very strongly about you guys and feeling like this is a missed opportunity and you guys are currently running. Okay, so take it how it resonates. But I'm, I'm feeling somebody's energy so very strongly here, whether it's Scorpios or the Cross Watcher. All right, guys. So, so that's what I have for you. And um, I'll be speaking with you soon.